Hello everyone. Today we will be looking at the general characteristics of algae. So algae consists of the primitive photosynthetic plants. Algae is one among the first division of plant kingdom. So the first consideration here will be its habitat. Habitat means where is it actually found. So it is cosmopolitan in distribution means wo almost har tarah ke habitat mein humko mil jata hai. But it is predominantly aquatic. Matlab uh, major algal forms are found in water. And within that they may be found in the fresh water say as in pond or canals or lakes etc. They also are found in sea and oceans considered as the marine algal forms and also are found in the estuaries matlab brackish water forms of algae also exist they also are found on land we can uh, see algae we can find algae in the moist soil or somewhere above or below the soil surfaces the examples of uh, all the algae in different habitats has been mentioned here okay so our second character is thallus structure now the algal body is called thallus because हम normally अगर किसी plant को देखें तो we can say what is the root system and the shoot system also uh, you know we can differentiate between the leaves and stem etc but जो algal body है अगर हम उसको देखें so that is totally undifferentiated it is just a collection or mass of cell so that is termed as thallus now still within that there is a great variation uh, so you know we evolving variation in the body organization is been seen so the very first one is the unicellular forms means the whole algal body consists of just a single cell single cell performs the vegetative as well as the reproductive function now that single cell may have flagella or may not have flagella and so they are further classified as the motile algal forms or non motile algal forms okay the second one is the multicellular forms now as the name suggest these multicellular forms will have collection of cells and now there would be division of labor as in the vegetative function reproductive function would be divided and within that is a filamentous form that we look into uh, filament means uh, you know there are cells which are arranged one above the another okay now abhi aisa cell ek ke upar ek ikattha hue hai and they form a filament like structure so that is the main you know ribbon like structure that we look and sometimes sometimes within this main filaments there are some small filaments that arise uh, you know from the main filament uh giving some branch like appearance so they will be called as the branched filamentous forms the cladophora is very good example of this the unbranched one which does not give rise to any small side filaments okay the fourth one we'll see is the colonial forms where either unicellular or multicellular algal forms have been you know combined together matlab unhone ek society jaisa bana rakha hai and now they are coordinating their work the vegetative and the reproductive function is now totally coordinated by all of the cells which have formed the colony a very nice example of this is volvox a third characteristic is cell structure so hum yahan pe ek single cell ko dekhenge uska type kya hai aur uska shape kya hai और uh, उसके अंदर कैसे ऑर्गेनल्स हैं एंड हाउ दैट ऑर्गेनल्स हैव बीन यू नो अरेंज्ड विद इन द सेल सो मोस्टली बिकॉज एल्गी इज विद इन द प्लांट किंगडम सो मोस्ट ऑफ द एल्गल सेल्स आर यू कैरियोटिक मीन्स दे आर हैविंग डिफाइंड न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन एंड दे आर हैविंग डबल बॉन्ड ऑर्गेनल्स एक्सेट्रा यू नो अ स्ट्रक्चर अ सेल स्ट्रक्चर वेरी सिमिलर टू हायर प्लांट्स वी ऑल नो how the higher plant cell looks like it has a cell wall of cellulose okay but here we'll be you know little distinguishing between a prokaryotic type of cell which is again you know categorized under algae so that division is called as cyanophyta commonly referred to as blue green algae and we all know this uh, it is a bacteria but still we study it under algal forms because the name has been given the blue green algae so it has a very distinguishing character its cell wall is made up of mucopeptide instead of cellulose
okay and the prokaryotic cell health obviously there will be no defined nuclear membrane साथ ही साथ जो बाकी के ऑर्गेनल्स होंगे जैसे कि क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया एक्सेट्रा वो सब सिंगल मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड होंगे ठीक है ऑल्सो देर विल बी द पिगमेंट्स लिटल बिट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अदर एल्गेल फॉर्म्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्लोरोफिल ए विच इज ऑलमोस्ट प्रेजेंट एवरीवेयर बट हियर ओनली क्लोरोफिल ए फाइकोबिलेन्स जैंथोफिल एंड बीटा कैरोटीन सब प्रेजेंट along with that several other organelles are also present characteristic is cell wall we have you know we have already seen the prokaryotic cell wall in algae that is the blue green algae which has mucopeptide in its cell wall but jo hamara eukaryotic uh, cell hai which is you know very much similar to the higher plants now that higher plants means the cell wall will have cellulose the arrangement is uh, i've given here the inner part would have cellulose and the outer part would have some pectic substances so basically it is made up of a polysaccharide that is cellulose and still again there are variation between different classes of algae and if we go into that we'll be studying that later on fifth characteristic is algal pigments so we have seen a different kind of algae there are different colors of algal thallus uh namely we generally call them as green algae brown algae red algae etc and these colors are due to you know a combination of different pigments so broadly looking into what are the different type of pigments the number one very important one the chlorophyll so among chlorophyll chlorophyll a and b are the important pigments which are present in almost all plant division chlorophyll c d and e also exist uh the second one is carotenoids carotenoid comprises of two uh, pigments carotenes and xanthophyll these are responsible for yellow to orange color among carotenes the beta carotene is very important and it is you know majorly found among the plant kingdom the third one is phycobilins phycobilins comprises of three sub pigments i mean these three pigments constitute and they are combinedly called as phycobilins the very first one is phycocyanin responsible for blue color phycoerythrin responsible for red color and allophycocyanin now the combination we can see here that phycocyanin and allophycocyanin these are responsible for the blue green color of the cyanophyta group and phycoerythrin is very major pigment present in rhodophyta means the red algae a sixth characteristic is flagella so flagella is a, mo a locomotory organ we all know that and most of this flagella is found in the unicellular algal forms okay so uh, and one point should be noted here that flagella presence of flagella is a primitive character you know the algae which are having flagella are the primitive algae and also in the course of evolution हमारा जो फ्लैजिला है वो वेजिटेटिव सेल से गायब हो गया है एंड इट इज़ नाउ ओनली प्रेजेंट इन द रिप्रोडक्टिव सेल्स अब इसके अंदर कुछ सब डिविजन्स है बिकॉज यू नो अगर हम किसी भी एल्गल फॉर्म को किसी भी जेनरा को अगर डिफाइन करेंगे चूँकि ये साइंस है तो एक एक टर्म में हम बता सकते हैं कि उसका क्या मतलब है so for that purpose there are sub basis been given so according to that sub basis the first one is a type so acronymatic or pantonymatic type acronymatic matlab whiplash like structure matlab piche se bahut hi tapering and it is very smooth on its surface you know a whiplash kind of structure pantonymatic is again it is small but on that surface some hair like outgrowths are present on the basis of number uh, they may be like uniflagellated that is only one flagella is present this is a very you know a common characteristic of a group called chrysophyta rest and the very common algal forms have two flagella you know all those the presence of two flagella is very common according to length they are called as isocondyle and heterocondyle we can uh, you know understand from this term itself iso iso means similar means if there are two al uh, two flagellas present so the both will be of similar length and if they are 
of different length they will be considered as heteroquantile also there is one more uh, basis uh, that is the position the position of uh, flagella looking on the into cell, the nutrition of apical, algal forms lateral so majorly on the side agar dekha jaye sometimes you know algae ke paas numerous number of as the flagella. pigment present so, so this indicates all that over they are the photosynthetic this is a rare case but yes it food. exists and this mode of nutrition we all know that it is called as autotrophic and few algae derive the nutrition from different plants or they engulf some solid particles so that mode of nutrition is called as heterotrophic mode of nutrition but basically autotrophic may be kuch divisions hote hain and if you see this as a important one if you're getting into this detail so if some algae are using direct sunlight they are called as photoautotrophics and if some algal forms they are using uh, this sunlight as well as some other chemicals uh, for the production the of their characteristic food, they will get down this food reserves photo autotrophic stored food present in algae so this basically this depend majorly on the pigmentation of the algal form and we have seen that different algal forms have different pigments there's a chart that i'll be providing at the last you can see the differentiation of this all of this uh, characteristic so now for now uh, we'll be seeing the chlorophyta which is a very major group of algae so as the name suggests it will be having chlorophyll as its major pigments so here the food reserve will be starch the phyophyta means the brown algae will have laminarian as its food reserve the rhodophyta will have floridian starch the blue green algae will have cyanophysin and the chrysophyta group will have oil and some leucosine as its food reserve now we have to remember these names as you know they are variable according to the pigment present in that particular algal form so looking into the last characteristic that is reproduction in algae which is of three types the vegetative sexual and asexual within vegetative the very simplest one is the simple cell division and it is very common among the unicellular algal forms means a single cell is there wo divide hota hai do daughter cells mein and wo daughter cells they mature and grow up into algal forms fragmentation means uh, it is very common uh, in fly, in filamentous form of algae so what happens is uh, a whole filament just get divided into several filaments and sometimes all of these uh, fragments or sometimes few of these fragments are capable enough to mature and form the new alga okay the asexual form is very important here uh, the algae within this produce different type of spores the name of spores have been mentioned here and uh, it would be you know not discussing into detail here just mentioning the name of all the six type of spores that are produced in algae the sexual reproduction is very important and marks the advancement of algal forms okay within that the isogamous heterogamous and oogamous type are present so now there are uh, sexual reproduction requires basically a female gametangia and a male gametangia now if this both female and male looks similar they are morphologically identical iso so they are isogamous aur agar wo morphologically different hain matlab hum dekh ke bata sakte hain that this is a male one and this is a female one then they are called as heterogamous type now here hetero different here i mean is the male would be smaller one and the female would always be a bigger one okay Uh, in terms of its size that is morphology they are different the oogamous is a very advanced mode of sexual reproduction okay here what happens is uh, the female gamete is enclosed within the oogonium and it is totally non motile the male gamete is small it may be flagellated or not it just swims by itself or through the water current and it reaches to the oogonium and then the fertilization takes place and this is the oogamous type of sexual reproduction